10. Fu Kuok Coconut Tree Prison Fu Kuok Prison, also known as the Coconut Tree Prison, can be found these days in the small An Thoi commune of Vietnam. And while the horrifying atrocities that took place in this prison are long gone, they're far from forgotten. You see, the prison was used during the Indochina War, at a time when the French colony was wrestling for dominance over Vietnam. The local Vietnamese resisted the French invaders, things got very violent, and the coconut tree prison was used as a place to keep non-conformists. Over 14,000 prisoners were here, and they were treated worse than scum. The French rulers of the prison tortured their Vietnamese subjects as if it were still in the medieval days. They would hammer nails through the prisoners' hands and feet, wind hot copper wires through their skin, drill into their teeth, and even throw prisoners into boiling water until they died. There was also the Katso Tiger Cage, which prisoners were stuffed into like wild animals. Rumor has it that they even crucified people here. But not all of these atrocities were committed only by the French. From June of 1967 to March of 1973, the Americans used the prison to keep the northern Vietnamese soldiers. They even expanded the prison and added more areas. And although this was only five decades ago, the U.S. soldiers and South Vietnamese participated in the same brutal horrors that the French had practiced before them. These days, the prison has been turned into a museum with terrifying sculptures and reenactments of the inhumanity that took place here. 9. Lawless Brazilian Jail there's a lawless prison in Natal, Brazil, that's apparently overrun with cannibals who actually barbecue human flesh. Video footage surfaced recently of inmates at Alcacu's prison roasting human meat over a crude bonfire. And unfortunately, the footage is very real. The person in the video even brags about how they were toasting the fleshy remnants of one of their rivals. The gang violence is so horrible beyond these walls that the inmates kill one another, then eat their corpses as a kind of victory ritual. The prison gained notoriety when the video came out in 2017. It was around the same time that 26 inmates were killed within the prison walls during a riot that lasted for days. Most of the bodies were decapitated, many of them were chopped to pieces, and only 22 of the victims could even be identified. This place is less of a prison and more of a madhouse. The prisoners filmed preparing their human barbecue were said to belong to an Amazon drug gang called the Family of the North and a Rio de Janeiro-based drug gang called the Red Command. The animosity between the gangs had grown to such a feverish level that they ended up taking over the entire prison. There were bodies left in the hallways, not a single guard in sight, and nothing but maniacs let loose to go on killing sprees. It took over a week for a military-style riot squad to finally enter Alcacu's prison to stem the violence. 8. Prison Island For about a century, the island of Koiba was inhabited by dangerous criminals and political prisoners. Koiba is the biggest of 38 islands within the Koiba National Park in Panama. And while the island may be a beautiful paradise today, and one of the most biodiverse regions on the planet, it spent a significant amount of time hosting prisoners. These days, there are 1,450 plant species on the island, countless unique animals, and sandy beaches, the likes of which most people have never seen. But what's truly fascinating is that the island was conserved by accident. The island was a penal colony until 2004, and so nobody ever went there to ruin the natural splendor. This inadvertently created an extremely well-preserved rainforest. In 1919, the island opened as a penal colony. It was a place where the most dangerous criminals in Panama could be sent and kept away from the general population. But this was unlike any other prison in the world. Instead of having an actual prison building, people were literally just shipped to the island and then dropped off. They lived in makeshift camps like castaways, 
only able to sustain themselves using their natural surroundings. The only people who lived in an actual structure were the guards, hiding behind fortress walls so the inhabitants of the island couldn't get to them. And nobody could escape because they would be immediately eaten by crocodiles or sharks. 7. Red Onion State Prison Red Onion State Prison is by far one of the worst supermax prisons in the United States of America. It can be found tucked away in a remote part of the Appalachian Mountains in Virginia and is home to the worst offenders in the state. Most people put here were shipped there from other prisons because they were too much to handle. There are about 500 inmates here in solitary confinement, each one stuck inside a tiny cell about the size of a closet. They stay in their cells for 23 hours a day, only having a single hour in which they're allowed to get fresh air by standing outside in a steel cage. They don't get to lift weights, they don't perform jobs, and they can't even get a visit from their grandmother. When they want to go to the showers, they do so in handcuffs and leg shackles, chaperoned by a guard who isn't afraid to use his stun gun. But even the prisoners that are given a little bit more freedom than others, it's not much. They're shadowed everywhere by guards with shotguns. They aren't allowed to socialize with anyone, and they'll live out the rest of their prison terms mostly in silence. Red Onion State Penitentiary is a lot less like the prisons you see on TV and more like purgatory. 6. HMS Jersey From between 1776 and 1783, British forces occupied New York City. This was while the British were fighting back against the rebels who would come to be the first citizens of the true United States of America. When the British captured American soldiers, they would hold those soldiers on prison ships docked in New York Harbor. The British would lock up pretty much anyone who refused to swear an oath of allegiance to the British crown. And so, in the short span of seven years, somewhere around 11,000 prisoners died aboard prison ships. One of the worst ones was the HMS Jersey, nicknamed Hell, because it was, to those in prison there, the same as being sent to Hell. Keeping people in prison ships wasn't the first idea the British had. They started with prisons on land, but soon ran out of space. The HMS Jersey could hold about a thousand men at a time. Every single night, about 12 of those men died. Most deaths were from diseases like dysentery, typhoid, and yellow fever. But a lot of the deaths were also from starvation and torture. By the time the war ended in 1783, there were only 1,400 surviving inmates left from the entire prison ship fleet. Dozens and dozens of boats filled with corpses. These days, there's a monument on Hudson Avenue to the fallen soldiers who died inside the disease-ridden ships of the British. 5. Gitarama Prison Inmates at Gitarama Prison in Rwanda are crammed inside one of the absolute worst places on this planet. The space was initially designed for up to 3,000 people, but there are well over 7,000 inmates inside the walls. And because of this, the conditions are deplorable. There are fights constantly, the inmates are frequently starving, and everyone is just trying to survive. The prisoners here are so desperate for food that they often resort to eating their dead friends. There was a report exposing the tragic living conditions of those inside the prison. But that was in 1995. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like anything has changed in the last three decades. In 1995, more than 1,000 detainees reportedly died inside the prison, while there were further reports of people with rotting limbs due to a lack of medical care and unhygienic beds. Bridget Troyan from the International Committee of the Red Cross told news sources that the conditions inside are inhumane and that they must immediately be improved. But seeing as this prison operates in rural Rwanda, a place flagged by many world governments for practicing forced disappearances and torture, it's likely to remain the same. 4. The Roman Mamertine Prison The Mamertine Prison, in antiquity the Tullianum, was one of the first dungeon prisons in the world. 
it's believed it was built way back in the 7th century BC by the Romans, right on the slope of Capitoline Hill. For the first years of its existence, inmates would be lowered through an opening on the main floor into the dungeon chambers below, from which they had no hope of escape. What's quite fascinating about this prison is that it was used quite differently by the Romans. Imprisonment wasn't really something the Romans did. If there was a criminal, they would just execute them. They didn't mess around with throwing them in jail. And if they did need to punish somebody, usually for defaulting on a debt or a slave trying to escape, they would just send them somewhere for hard labor. What they did use the prison for was brief incarcerations while awaiting execution. People would be lowered into the dungeons and left there to rot, at least until they were brought back up to be murdered. And a lot of the time, they would simply die in the hole in the ground. 3. ADX Supermax The ADX Florence is the only federal supermax prison in America. It's located in Florence, Colorado and houses some of the most notorious criminals in the U.S. El Chapo is kept here, Ted Kaczynski, Zokar Sarnaev, and plenty of drunk kingpins, serial killers, mobsters, and even cult leaders. The extremely secure penitentiary is about two hours from Denver on a compound of 37 acres. It's called the Administrative Maximum Facility, but people just shorten it to ADX. It first opened for inmates in 1994 and is currently home to roughly 360 criminals. The inmates must spend their lives in complete solitary confinement. It's non-negotiable, 23 hours a day, stuck inside a soundproof cell. They basically live inside a noiseless box, which is why the prison is considered an affront to human rights. It's been the topic of a lot of controversy and debate primarily because solitary confinement makes the inmates go completely insane. It does absolutely nothing to rehabilitate them. But then again, the whole point of ADX is not rehabilitation, but giving the worst criminals in America the worst rest of their lives, with no possibility of escape. 2. Cannon Fodder Recent reports out of Europe claim that Russian leader Vladimir Putin has been raiding some of the absolute worst jails in Russia for cannon fodder. This means that some of the most dangerous prisoners in all of Russia are being yanked out of violent, super secure prisons and being thrown to the front line to fight against the Ukrainians. This hasn't been completely confirmed, but the rumors are swirling. One of these prisons is the IK-2 male correctional colony near Moscow. This is a place where the inmates allegedly get beaten by the guards regularly, psychologically tortured, and just generally humiliated. Inmates are forced to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning and aren't given any medical attention unless they're on the brink of death. This prison has been described as a friendly concentration camp. Then there's the brutal IK-6 facility, an equally scary place with hordes of criminals locked in their own private cells. There's also the Black Dolphin prison where cannibals and serial killers go to rot. That's the prison where inmates are blindfolded when taken out of their cells and forced to walk crouched to the ground. They're not even allowed to stand up unless locked in their rooms. As for which prisoners are being sent to the front lines, that's a bit more vague. Recent reports have suggested Russia is relaxing their rules for prison recruitment. Convicts are now being welcomed into the fighting so long as they aren't serving over 20 years for exceptionally heinous crimes. 1. Venezuelan Cannibal Prison In Venezuela, Anthony Correa and Juan Carlos Herrera died while locked up at a detention center in 2016. These two men were murdered, ripped to shreds, and then fed to fellow prisoners during an insane riot. It was a confessed cannibal who had allegedly done the killing, and then fed them to other prisoners as a kind of sick joke. It happened at an overcrowded jail in the city of San Cristobal. It's a place so lawless and horrifying that when an inmate kills another inmate, it's just considered a normal day. In this case, the two men were hung up like deer that had just been shot, bled out on the floor, and then carved up into chunks of meat. 
Their killer was identified as Dorangel Vargas, known to the Venezuelans as the People Eater. He was arrested back in 1999, following a string of sick and twisted murders. The riot that exploded at the jail led to the arrest of six policemen who were accused of helping to make it happen. And while the prison minister, Iris Varela, said the cannibalism claims are likely exaggerated, the inmates say it definitely happened. In fact, they say the killer and his gang forced their rival gang members to eat the human meat, and they cut off their fingers if they refused. Regardless of what's true and what's not, there's no denying that the prisons in Venezuela are among the worst in the world. Would you rather be stuck in a prison where people eat the living or feast on the dead? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon!